When I picture cashmere, I don't necessarily picture a cool gray, but here we are. Today's color code is 2138-60. We've got the code, now let's get to cracking. A big thank you to Mighty Boards for helping us out with this video. I know they'll be able to help you with the color selection process, so more on them later on. I'm James, and this is The Paint People. And on color code, we break down a color's undertones, LRV, and hit you with some color pairings, corresponding trim colors, and some advice on how to go ahead and use this particular color. Grey Cashmere, which isn't a particularly new color, as it's part of the color previews palette from Benjamin Moore, but it has seen a bit of a resurgence as it was part of the 2021 Benjamin Moore Color Trends color palette, alongside the color of the year, which is Aegean Teal. Of all the colors in that Color Trends palette, Grey Cashmere has probably the most in common compared to Aegean Teal because they both share a combination of blue and green. The main difference being Aegean Teal has a lot more of both, being a much darker color, where Grey Cashmere has an LRV or light reflectance value of 65.57, which is light enough where it won't feel so much like an accent color on the wall. The ratio of blue and green is also slightly different between the two colors, where grey cashmere has more apparent grey, and its teal aspect is more green dominant rather than blue. So it definitely fits within that cool grey category, and it almost seems to me that there really isn't much blue in it at all, but rather the grey that keeps it feeling cooler. Grey colors in general can have a tendency to shift a little cooler indoors, especially in those north facing rooms. And if you're a big fan of high Kelvin value light bulbs, then these are the sort of conditions that your home is working with, so there might be an even greater chance that the color will look a bit more blue in your space. But more than likely, it'll appear either gray or green instead, for the most part. The only way to find out, for sure, is to test this color out, and I find there's no better way than to go ahead with a Mighty Board, a large, movable and flexible board that you can paint and watch the color in different sections of the same room or even have the freedom to move around to other rooms, and that's such a useful tool to have. I find this is especially important with fairly neutral colors because of how subtle and nuanced they can be, so you really want to make sure that the undertones within the paint sit just right in your palette. I'll leave a link below to our Mighty Boards video if you want some more information on them. Finding some color pairings for grey cashmere isn't too tough of a task, and you have Benjamin Moore to thank directly for that. Even though the 2021 Color Trends palette is pretty varied in terms of color hues, they were chosen to work alongside one another, and there's a great selection of warm, earthy tones and a couple of those soothing cool colors. The first and probably the easiest color pairing to work with is with muslin. I've seen muslin used in a lot of homes because of its sophisticated yet versatile nature. The two colors together work because of that beige aspect in muslin, which does make grey cashmere look a little more blue than it actually is. I've always loved beige with cooler colors, whether it's green or blue or grey, so this pairing is really a no-brainer to me. It has a subtle complementary quality happening, but it works in a variety of different ways. If we wanted to venture outside of the Color Trends palette and try and be a little more creative, we could take a look at a much deeper color in Ticonderoga <laughs> taupe. Now I had to include this one as a test for my incredible pronunciation skills. What sounds like a village in New Zealand is actually in New York apparently. Ticonderoga. <laughs> Either way, I'm pretty sure I nailed that one. Ticonderoga taupe has an LRV of 26.15, so this is definitely a deeper color that you maybe wouldn't even necessarily use as a paint color in conjunction with grey cashmere. This is the type of brown you might find in a nice leather couch, or maybe even in your flooring, but it's these types of brown tones that are a beautiful match for grey cashmere. You could also absolutely use it on the walls. In fact, it would be a great adjacent color in separate rooms with those open sight lines. For my taste, it might be a bit too jarring to use as an accent wall specifically, but the pairing itself does look really nice altogether. As far as trim colors are concerned, I actually quite like White Dove as a color pairing here, which isn't the brightest white out there, but it plays into the bit of warmth that's found in the green aspect of grey cashmere. And while you could go for a slightly cooler pure white, which is also a fine choice as well, I feel like White Dove will give you a more well-rounded, complete overall look. 
just be aware that your trim is likely going to continue throughout your home. So keep in mind when picking your other wall colors alongside your awesome white dove trim. So you're looking for a definitive answer regarding how and where to use gray cashmere. There are many different use cases for it, of course, but it's not necessarily a color I could see myself using all over a house. As much of a green fan as I am, I'm still not quite ready to label it as a main color for a lot of people. Its green aspect will get lost if you use it too much throughout a home. So by using it selectively in bathrooms, bedrooms, and even living rooms, it instead becomes a nearly neutral, a subtle accent color that can stand out against your more traditional warm neutral palette. But if you really wanna be cool, throw it on your kitchen cabinets and make your friends jealous with your brave color choice. But it doesn't really even take that much bravery because it looks great on cabinets, especially as an alternative to white and off-white. Speaking of white cabinets, I'm still a big fan of White Dove for that purpose, which you can watch a video on right here. Now, of course, color trends come and go. So whichever color you pick, pick it because it's the right color for you and do it with colorful confidence. Later.